Hey YouTube, how's it going? Mevlin back here again with another Alchemy Stars video and for this one I'll be showing you my Emerald Spire Floor 80 run. Now if you don't know my progress in Spire, uh, this is currently what I have and I did beat Frost Spire like maybe close to a month ago, maybe uh, three weeks or something like that. But I remember, I remember struggling in this floor. Uh, this is a team that I brought, it's highly, highly invested. Everyone is A3, Colony Carlene level 20, Hydra level 5, and meanwhile, uh, Miss Mike and Tyrell are still level 1. But it's uh, pretty highly invested in terms of levels, uh, in terms of their equipment. Uh, Colony Carlene and Hydra are all max equipment, Miss Mike level 7, and then Tyrell level 1. So yeah, it's a highly invested team. And I was, I was not having a good time. I think I beat this uh, floor in like two days of constantly trying, like doing it over and over and over again until I get like good RNG. And I just felt like this team did not do enough damage that, you know, I needed the perfect run. Meanwhile, here in uh, Emerald Spire, I, I one tapped it. I, I went in, did a couple rerolls, try to get a decent start. And then the boss was dead, and I was like, wait, that was so easy in comparison to water. And I think the reason why this was a lot easier was this team just does crazy, crazy, crazy amounts of damage. Mega Hero, Odie, all very good DPS characters that, you know, it didn't really matter uh, how much, how many turns I had left in the fight. Meanwhile, pac is such a good uh, converter combo. Both of them having the same cooldowns means they're always going to be up. Uh, I had so many green tiles to work with, especially with Hero. Half a converter and a very good damage dealer. Pretty OP Hero. I think if anyone was replaceable here, it would probably be OD. I don't really think you need need OD anymore. I'm a, you know me, I am a big fan of OD and the only reason I'm keeping OD here because I love her and she brought me here like you know she carried me at the beginning. But uh I think Migrate Teleport is just way too important. Pagnikinus Hero are going to be converters, so by default, if you have Gabriel, I would actually have put Gabriel in the OD slot, try to out, see if she was better in this team fight. But enough of my rambling, let's go straight to the fight, boys. So, like I mentioned earlier, uh, I did re-roll the tiles a little bit, but as you can see, it's not even that good of a re-roll. I have four blue tiles around me, and if you're a Pack and Canis player, you understand the nightmare that is blue tiles. Blue tiles are so bad, and I only get one uh, one basic attack right beside the boss, because only one, one of the tiles are adjacent to the boss after converting the tiles. But the good thing about this one is that uh, we end our turn on the center of the boss, and so our girl hero is going to do so much damage, because she is a, a two cluster um, detonator and you want to make sure you end your turn right in the center of the boss that way uh, you're gonna do a huge AoE attack but you know there's so many blue tiles god looking at looking at this now like this I should just reroll this but you know it didn't matter because like I said like this team is super strong in terms of damage uh, I'm gonna grab these yellow tiles the good thing here got a little bit lucky the blue tiles all got connected so I could just take most of these blue tiles in one run but yeah even though like you know we only did one basic attack we brought the boss all the way down to 40 percent health like such a good team man i'm uh, gonna end our turn here at the corner because the boss is going to do his cross shape attack so we need to dodge over here this is his blind spot and here our uh Midgard is up and uh, I realized that, yeah, I'm just going to use Migurd here because I think it's going to proc her passive, deal pretty good damage. But I didn't think it was this much damage. Like, she did, like, what? It was 21, all the way 3%. It's like, wait, how much is that? Like, 17%? Nope, 18%? I can't do math right now. Yeah, 18% of the boss is off. That's pretty crazy. Right here, uh, got lucky on the re refreshes or the re rerolls on the tiles. We all the greens are connected, and all my skills are up. I was like, yeah, let's just try it. There is that huge river of blue in the center, which is really unfortunate. But I just want to damage test here. Like I didn't even think this was going to be clear because, like I said, this was my first try. I was just you know testing, testing things around, trying to see what's going to happen. So yeah, I, I wasn't really trying to minimax. I was like, ah, I'm just gonna. Use my skills and then use hero here. Uh, the obvious hero target on her active is going to be that blue tile between both the bosses. Because uh, that's where we're going to be ending our turn. That's where hero is going to maximize his damage, her damage. And uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to do the other blue tile that I just did. It's probably, yeah, it's probably the best ones.
This is Hero's Power, dude. Just be able to choose the perfect tile. Because there's always usually one perfect tile that uh, you want to become green. And the word choose, the word choose is just so good. You choose the perfect tile to end your tile on, which is really nice. Here, I wasn't really planning to like one-shot the bosses. I was just like, uh, I'm just going to tickle them a little bit and then finish them off next turn. So I didn't really like fully optimize this. Like if I was trying to kill both the bosses, I should have gotten more tiles. That way my first basic attack was a 15. That would have been the smarter play. But like I've mentioned, uh, the team is just so much damage. Like I was kind of flabbergasted here. That hero just did that much damage. 80, close to 80,000. That's, that's, that's so freaking good. We have an aura time so we can take another turn. Uh, the boss is going to do their melee attacks. And there's that one blue tile that is pretty safe. And you know, I've had th these blue tiles have been a nightmare for me recently. So I'm just going to go ahead and reroll re all this. So uh, let me take these. Even got 14. They're going to come to us. Here, I was... I really wanted to keep them on the left side of the board. Because, you know, that's where a lot of the green tiles are. But, uh... I couldn't really figure out how to do that without putting myself in jeopardy. Like, I could have ground those yellow tiles, but then... I have the potential to be stuck there, like, depending on how the tiles reroll. So I just ended up, you know, playing it safe and run the red tiles and run on the other side. A bit of a waste, there's so many green tiles on that side. If there was a way for me to like keep them on that side, I would have definitely taken it, but uh, I couldn't figure it out. And now they're going to move towards us, so they're going to move away from these green tiles. Uh, I think these blue tiles are safe, so I'm just going to grab these. The downside is now they're running away from, you know, the sea of green tiles on the left side, which is pretty unfortunate. My skills are up here, but hero is not up. I really wish it was a two turn, two turn cooldown, but that might have been, that might be a little bit broken. Like even if they put the uh, minus one cooldown on her max breakthrough, because I do think her max breakthrough is not very good personally, which can be a, a positive thing because you know, you don't need a max breakthrough hero. She's, she's good enough on her breakthrough three, which is her first dupe, but um, it's just, just, I just wish it was 2 turn cooldown. That, that's definitely, that's definitely like gonna make her even more broken. Here, I'm just gonna teleport to the blue tiles. That way I can take it. I also end up using my, uh, my PAX skill here. The reason is that I wanted to convert these red tiles specifically around me. Cause you know, it's close to this cluster of green. But it did put both my Nikinis and my pack off sync. And the reason why I didn't use my Nikina skill is that I wanted to see what these tiles we roll into. So we did get a blue tile beside us, which is unfortunate, but we did get a red and a yellow. So that's why I, I kept my Nikina skill, because I wanted to uh, re-roll these tiles. And turn them to green. Fortunately, we did not get that one yellow tile. That's the sad part. Uh, but both my, my um, OD and my hero skills are up. The obvious place to drop hero skill is going to be that red tile where all the bosses are at that is where we're going to be ending our turn because that is where uh, we're maxing our damage for our chain combos now in terms of where to put the other one uh it's not that obvious here but for this fight you want to like make sure you kill them all at the same time so i just put it here because this is the boss with the highest health right like i want to make sure uh i do you know as much damage to all the bosses so i put it to the one with the highest health that way i'm trying to like kill everyone at the same time i'm just gonna do a run here gonna loop around try to make sure i don't take too many tiles this is way too many tiles so i'm just gonna redo it I'm just gonna do this, and if you uh, if you didn't, if you've been watching my videos, you come to realize I made one huge mistake. Good thing, uh, good thing I realized it here before uh, doing that run. Make sure to put hero on your leader. So that's a that's a big whoopsie in my part. Here I am trying to kill all of them at the same time. After after seeing how much damage I did on the second phase, I got a little bit cocky. 
and thought, eh, I could probably kill this. I got crazy damage, right? But unfortunately, I don't think it was enough basic attacks, maybe, or something. S something was different here. Don't really know. Yeah, it's probably not enough basic attacks, so I only killed one. And if this was my water team, I would have been like, uh, that's a wipe. I have to restart. But look how many turns I have left. I have eight rounds, and all my cooldowns are pretty short. I have, like, around two more big turns, so I have so many chances to make mistakes with this team that that's why I think this team is so good for this floor. Like, I don't need to do perfect runs every single time. I have, I have so many chances. Here, I'm just going to end my turn. Uh, I think I make one big mistake here. I think, yeah, I should have I should have teleported with Migrid and just, like, screw, screw this blue tile. I should just move one one tile to the to the upper, to the left side. That way, uh, I could have done more AoE, but eh, whatevs. Um, here we got both our converters up, but Hero is not ready yet, so I'm just gonna wait one more turn. They're going to do their cross shape, so I'm just gonna end my turn over here. And, and unfortunately, these blue tiles come popping back up. This run isn't even that perfect. Like, in terms of RNG, there was, I feel like there were so many blue tiles. I spent so many turns, like, trying to delete blue tiles, and they just keep popping back up, man. All right, all skills are up here. Um, for hero, the obvious one is that red tile in the middle of all the bosses. Meanwhile, the second one, uh, it's probably that. It's probably that blue tile, right? Yeah, it's probably it has to be that blue tile. But we ended up changing the red tile with uh, with our girl packed here. I think I should not have done that. That way, yeah, maybe I should have done that because I really want that red tile to be enhanced, huh? You know that red tile in the uh, center of the bosses? I probably wanted that to be enhanced, so I should have probably used hero skill here. You know what? I learned something today. I think sometimes uh, using hero skill first before pack McInnes makes sense, because I, I, it, it tells, it dictates where I put the enhanced tiles. So yeah. Oh, here. <laughs> I'm gonna spend so many times trying to like maximize hero, because I was trying to do a basic attack grab an enhanced style to do another basic attack but i think i know what i'm supposed to do now uh in hindsight i was just like i i, I that in here this is wrong right because i missed one basic attack but i think what i should have done was just do a basic attack on that non-enhanced style grab an enhanced style and then loop around it, it was it's actually pretty simple i i, I uh, overthought this one again oops Here, uh, that's a 13. I need two more tiles, but here, uh, this is also wrong because this is. I'm trying to make this to be my last, my last, uh, my last round. So I should grab more tiles and make sure that my first basic attack is going to be 15. Because there's no reasons to uh, to keep these tiles anymore. So here, 13, 14, and 15 on the first basic attack. That's what you're supposed to do. So I, I'm kind of glad I uh, rewatched this because I did learn a couple things what I'm supposed to do. The big one being sometimes using hero skill first is better than using Pac McInnes. But here we did enough damage to kill all the bosses. OD is going to finish it up and GG boys. And it's going to be it for this one, boys. In terms of my progression, I think I'm going to say a short goodbye to my forest team uh, because I got I got a little bit lucky on my other colors. For water, I'm not going to be touching water. I know there are more spire floors now. After 80, there's 81 to 90. But for water, I kind of want to grab Regal first before I go back to water. If I do floor 90 and then I grab Regal and there's nothing to do, then there's no place to me showcase Regal. So I'm definitely not going to be doing water for uh, 81 and above. But in terms of my other colors, like I said, I got super lucky while pulling for a hero. Please don't be too mad. Uh, I got a decent amount of characters. For my Thunder team, I got both Michael and Iridon. So it's pretty tempting to go back to Lightning because my Lightning is so OP now grabbing two of these characters. Pretty much means my, my Lightning is going to be pretty easy. But I got two copies of Victoria. 
and I think if a game gives you two copies of a 6 star back to back, it's like the game's telling you to do something, so I think I'm going to be working on my fire team for a little bit. Short goodbye to Hero, pretty sad man. As you guys know, she is my favorite character in the game 100%, but we're going to be playing around Victoria, working on my fire team, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, for everyone stuck all the way through, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out!